good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to today's lecture on demand, which is going to be part of the online curriculum on HZ and implant dentistry. Uh, my name is Sasha Jovanovic. The first lecture, which um, you will see here, is the anterior implant placement lecture with the focus on single tooth restorations. An area of implant dentistry which is very um, in high demand and many of our patients are looking for these kind of treatments. When we look at how single tooth implant dentistry compares to the rest of implant dentistry, you'll see that we will always compare this to uh, the classical indications. And the classical indications are obviously the patients, as you will notice here, which are the elderly patients who have an edentulous upper or lower or both, which benefit from the treatment of implants. Um, this compares very much to the partially edentulous patients. And the partially edentulous patients, of course, are those patients who are missing multiple teeth, very often in the posterior region, or single teeth, which are happening in the anterior region. And these single teeth are the ones we're going to be focusing on. And you'll see that these patients usually are younger patients, uh, patients who um, have had uh, athletic accidents, patients who have had some uh, missing teeth because of uh, genetic uh, backgrounds, uh, patients who have had old dental treatments which, or in history of dental treatments, which now have broken down to a level that we cannot save these teeth for our patients. So single teeth is uh, quite a large indication for implant therapy when we look at our practice. This compares now uh, very much to the following, and that is that we have another indications in implant therapy, which are the advanced indications. And the advanced indications are those indications which have to do with natural aesthetic look, because we want to make uh, restorations for our patients who look very, very natural. So pretty much similar or the same as the adjacent teeth. Now, as we know, our patients, when we look at them, once they start missing teeth, they also then lose a certain amount of the volume of the bone. So grafting becomes necessary to enhance the sight. The next thing is that um, soft tissues resorb and fade away uh, or become deficient or change and we need to improve that site with the purpose of soft tissue grafting. And in some patients, we need to do a combination. Uh, really, they need to get the optimal aesthetic look. At the same time, they need to uh, have an enhanced ridge through bone grafting and soft tissue grafting, so it's a combination therapy. Therefore, sometimes single tooth restorations can be really an advanced indication. So we need to know about all these different criteria to make it successful for our patients. And here you can see such an example, uh, two uh, teeth missing in the anterior, and they've been restored with two implants in the anterior uh, region. And as you can see here, they're holding the bone very nicely, and they're also holding the soft tissue and the interproximal gingival papilla uh, quite nicely for the end result of the patient. So these are advanced indications. Now, if we're not careful, and this is one area which we have to really focus on, in the single tooth restorations, it becomes sometimes um, very easy, or in the aesthetic region, it becomes very easy to have a minor complication. And this minor complication can show already either tissue loss, so we have a changed gingival level, or it can show, as you can see here, it can show actually a certain amount of um, implant loss. On the left uh, picture here, we see a patient which was in her 30s. She had lost um, two center incisors. Uh, a team in the Southern California area has um, uh, implanted two dental implants, but as you can see here, the implants lost a significant amount of bone, and they have also lost the gingival tissues. So a negative gingival profile has occurred. On the right photo, you can see an anterior aesthetic result where patients have, in this case, uh, or this patient has 
received four implants to restore the anterior ridge. In this particular case, um, the implants, as you can see, also showed loss of gingival tissue. So you can see the black margin showing of the restorations and of the implants. And we can see a negative amount of um, tissue appearing. And on the anterior two implants, actually, if you look very closely, you can see here in this area some purulent drainage coming out of the socket right here and right here. So these are deep pockets. So in particular failure or complication cases like this, there's not much we can do than really actually um, diagnose it and um, conclude that this particular patient has bone loss, has soft tissue loss, and has actually a um, change uh, for the future. So in patients like this, we go through a treatment which sometimes can be quite aggressive, but it can be that we have to remove implants again and start the diagnostic um, of the patient over again, start the treatment planning of the patient over again, and then restore them again with new implants and with new tissue. So we have to be very careful when we think about single teeth and aesthetics that fears and complications can occur. Now, what are our aesthetic uh, results which we'd like to achieve and what are our criteria? Uh, first of all, there are fundamental elements for success if we look at preserving tissue for implant aesthetics. The first part which we're going to be looking at is really comparing how patients can be treated. And uh, one area of treatment is that we can really preserve the tissues optimally. You can see that on the right-hand side. You see a single tooth implant um, replacing a lateral incisor. You see it's a flapless approach. No incision is being made. And the implant is placed straight into the ridge which is existing. So this is what we call a minimal invasive therapy. On the left side of the screen, you can see an implant which was placed in a, into an old extraction site which had quite a lot of bone loss uh, and now the implant is placed with good stability but bone is actually missing. So this particular case needs bone regeneration. So two different treatments for the same result, a single tooth implant. What are the elements we're looking at? Uh, first of all, we need to create an appropriate bone foundation for single tooth results and for aesthetic results. So the foundation of bone is the ultimate area which we're looking at. Secondly, we have to think about what type of implant do we use and what position do we place that implant because this implant will hold the bone and this implant position will also determine how it will hold the bone and how it will now be the emergence for the prosthetic result.